AutoCAD Architecture 2011 has a new Enhanced Custom Grid function that allows us to create more complex grids with ease. From the home ribbon here we launch the Enhanced Custom Grid tool and we get a nice interactive dialog box with a preview so we can see what we're going to get before we place it in the drawing. On the left here we have control of the top, bottom, left, right sides of the grid separately so we can create some fairly complex shapes. We have some preset grid sizes here so we can just pick one off the list and it puts in the first bay of that size. We can keep going like this so we add a second bay in and we can choose whether this is going to be a primary or a secondary bay. Again we'll add one more back to a primary bay and we can see here in the preview window the number in keeping up with our primary and secondary grid lines. Once we're happy with our horizontal space in here we can choose one of the vertical sides and start to repeat the process for the vertical grid lines. We can place multiple bays of the same size very quickly and then what we see is we've got control of the actual labeling where we want that to be displayed. We can choose what characters we want displayed or not displayed and we've also got some advanced settings to set out the extensions of the actual bubbles and the spacing of the grid lines here so it's a very comprehensive tool. Once we're done with that we just say OK and then we can place the grid in our drawing. Choosing the grid then brings up our column grid context ribbon display and on there we have some more tools to further customize the grid should we need to modify it once we've placed it. So we have an offset grid line here. We can choose our grid line, choose how far we want to offset it and then pick a side. Once we've placed that it then prompts us as to whether we want that to be a secondary grid line or a primary one. So if we choose secondary it numbers it accordingly. Very simple to modify and keep track of where we want things to go. We've also got the remove grid line so we can just take that one out once we change our mind. We've also got some dimension functionality here so with the grid base selected we can just dimension the entire grid. Prompts us for an offset distance which will accept the default and then that in dimensions that grid just in a single click. We also have a custom column tool. So what we have drawn down here is just a standard AutoCAD polyline, closed polyline shape to represent the uh, profile of our column. And from the same area here we now have custom column. This just allows us to pick our polyline, accept the centroid for the insertion point and then we can give it a name. We'll tell it to erase our polyline as our column will be there in its place. And then using the Add Selected tool we can just start to add this onto our grid very quickly, very simply. So there we can see that using the enhanced custom grid functionality and also the custom column tool we can create some fairly complex geometry in a few quick and easy steps and makes it a very efficient process.